Hey guys, I'm here with an app review of uh, what, in my opinion, is the best VNC um, application client kind of thing for your iPod and iPhone. Uh, it's called LogMeIn, so I'll just show you that. Um, actually, it's on my first page. Alright, so there it is. Uh, as you can see, there's the icon for it. Just let that uh, auto focus, and it's not going to. Alright, well, there is the icon for it. It's called Log Me In. Uh, so I'm just going to launch it there. And it first brings you to this white screen, and you just have to log yourself in. It remembers your stuff and everything. And then it finds your computer. All the only thing I have set up right now is my Mac, so just wait for it to load up. And says please wait. And then it gives you some hints. It, you can turn the hints off if you want, uh, but I like to keep them there. Continue to computer. So it takes a while to at first load your screen. Um but after that, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to take this off the dock because you can, of course, do this in landscape mode. And landscape is always better, in my opinion. So I'm just going to use this mouse to uh, kind of hold my iPod in place. All right, I'm just going to use my hands. Never mind. Um, so just let me get a good angle for you guys. And as you can see, this is my Mac desktop. I have it set up right now so that when I touch the screen, um, it moves the mouse, but you can have it so that it moves the screen. As you can see, it's kind of laggy loading my album art and stuff like that. But um, there is one highlight feature about this that's way that makes it way better than anything else. So as you can see, it is actually working. If I double tap, this song will play. Anyway, I'm going to quit out iTunes, actually. And iTunes quit. Alright, so let's zoom out. So, the real big thing about this app that makes it better than any of the other um, VNC apps is that this app, actually, you can use it no matter where you are. So let's say um, you're on 3G, um, you loaded, you're in your car, um, you uploaded a video to YouTube and you want to see if it's done uploading or where it, where it is in the upload process, which by the way now YouTube does tell you what percent it's done. So all you do is you log on to your computer from your car, it doesn't have to be on the same network and you just, you can check it or whatever you want to check. Uh, this is really great for me because even though I have an iPod and not an iPhone, um, my school has Wi-Fi that isn't blocked, so this way I can log on to my computer from school and actually check my YouTube and stuff like that because it's blocked at school. So this is a way of getting around the firewalls at school for me. Um, the one thing, the bad thing about it though, is YouTube is extremely slow. So let me just quickly load up a YouTube video here. I'm using my mouse now. I'm not using the uh, on-screen controls. I'm just going to use the mouse for simplicity. So let me go into YouTube here. And actually here is a drum and vocal 100% of that song I was just playing on iTunes. So as you can see, it's very laggy. Oh, there's some annotations. I don't know what that said. But it's very laggy when you're watching YouTube videos. As you can see, here's my Mac. And it's not laggy at all. So it's not the video. It's just, um... This, this isn't very good for watching YouTube. So that's one of the drawbacks. 
Um, the second major, major drawback, which is actually probably bigger than this YouTube problem, is that it is $30 in the App Store. So I really only recommend, I recommend this app more than any of the other VNC apps, because I think it's so easy to use. You can also, um, well, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Um, anyway, it's so easy to use, but... I really only recommend this app if you're if you like either need a VSD client or you're really gonna use it because thirty dollars for an App Store app is a lot right now. Well, it's a lot in general. So let me just take you through some of these things down here. Of course, right here you have an end session button. Here you have your keyboard pops up, and then up here you have. Control all and command, which I like, and then that brings you to your F's and back to your regular keyboard, which I like. So I can enter, say, spaces if I press F5, and there you go, I launched spaces. F5 is my spaces shortcut, and also, yeah, a lot of graphical intense things make it lag quite a bit. Here is, um, I don't really know what that button does. Oh, this button changes it from left click to right click. So as you can see, if it would autofocus, my camera isn't very good at focusing in that great. But it changes it every time I click on that. Alright, you can't really see that. This is just a zoom for fast zoom, but obviously you can zoom like that. This is a preferences pane. I'll walk you through these. So let me put this in my dock. Alright, so what you get is color quality, which might actually increase, uh, if you put it on low quality and you set the resolution low, it might uh, decrease lag quite a bit. I'll try that. Network speed, you just want to set to auto, blank screen. And uh, that made my real one go into horrible resolution, but just trying this, obviously, I can put it back. Ooh, and that actually made the app crash. So let me just go back in. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it just set it on lock because the app didn't crash. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so there's the preferences pane. Oh, it's because I put the this into the dock, so that made iTunes launch, and it made it want to sync. Anyway, now that it's a uh, lower resolution, let me try. Uh, it doesn't seem to be that much faster. All right, so I'm going to reset the resolution. Bear with me here. Color quality, auto back to settings and done all right and then lastly you have these two buttons command tab and command command tab obviously you know is for switching between applications and stuff like that all right so I am done uh, kind of giving you guys a walk through um, if I had to rate this app, I would give it a 8 out of 10 because um, it the it is very uh, choppy at times. At other times, it's great, but it's very choppy at times. And also because it's $30. But it gets the 8, really, because you can log on from different uh, networks. So this video has been a lot longer than I thought it would be. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, to... For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, um, where you can know what I'm doing. Uh, if I find any cool Apple or any tech-related kind of websites or forums, I'll post links to those. Uh, so check in the description for the Twitter link, and thanks for watching.